Hi everyone, before I start drawing, I just want to let you know about an awesome app that I found. It's called Artemino, and as you know, with this channel I've been spending a lot of time trying to encourage the arts community and for us to engage in discussions. Um, and this, this app seems to be all about that. It's, um, it's about meeting other artists, chatting with other artists, creating polls, and it's about discussing all things art. And I think that's something awesome, and I think we should see more of that. Uh, so I really want to show my support for this app. It's, um, as I said, it's called Artemino. My username on there is Lethal Chris, and it's available on Android and iOS. I've left download links in the description box below, so feel free to check it out and let me know what you think of it. I'm really excited about it, and I really want to show my support for you on there, and I hope that you'll be there to support me on there. Um, I think it's going to be a really cool place to uh, encourage the art community and for us to share our work and that's uh, going to be a really awesome thing to try out so um, feel free to download it and check it out and let me know what you think and hopefully I'll see you on there. Hi everyone and welcome to this episode of Fan Art Friday. This week I'm finally working on some Tokyo Ghoul fan art. Um, lots of you have been suggesting this in the comments and I really appreciate that you have all of these suggestions for me. It's really exciting to read through them each week. Um, and once again thank you so much for leaving them and for leaving the uh, recommendations for anime for me to watch. I, um, I have s such an awesome list and um, if you have any more recommendations then feel free to leave them here and it's always hugely appreciated. And as always, if you have any drawing suggestions, then feel free to leave them in the comments below, and I'll be picking one and I'll be working on a drawing for next week. For the outlines of this drawing, I used Pigma Micron pens, and uh, I think they were 0.3mm, um, so it gave me a lot of opportunity to create some of the finer details um, in this drawing, um, especially around the hair, where I needed some really fine lines. Um, and for the colouring, I used Copic markers. Um, for most, for the most of this drawing, it was actually all cool grey Copic markers, um, except for the red areas, uh, which I used a crimson Copic marker and a little bit of cardinal. For the colouring of the mask, I started off with the lighter shades of grey and slowly built up the darker layers, um, as I was using some reference images so that I could figure out where the shading and the highlighting would be going. Uh, to create the effect of the mask uh, shining, um, uh, highlighted from the lighting. Um, and then for the skin tones I used a milky white Copic marker and a lipstick natural for the darker shading around the edges. For the darker shading of the eye I used the cool grey Copic markers and I used crimson red for the pupil um, and I left a, a, a white highlight around the inside of the pupil with um, a white prism Prismacolor pencil and I left um, some white highlights uh, with a Uniball Signo Broad pigment ink white pen to um, help make the eye seem a lot more 3D and it gave that shiny effect. Um, and for the hair, I used just a few of the lighter cool grey Copic markers, um, ranging between the cool grey number 3 um, and the cool grey number 5 mainly, just, uh, just a little bit of light shading, nothing too much. I wanted the hair to have a nice contrast from the character and the background. Um, the background itself, I actually wanted to create that comic panel effect again, so I drew an outline with some pigment micron pens, and then I filled in all of the colouring with a crimson Copic marker. I think this panelling gives a really nice effect to drawings like this, and with the hair overlapping it, it makes the character seem almost 3D and popping out of the page, and I was really excited about that effect, and I definitely am going to be using the panel effect in more of my drawings in the future. You might have noticed that in this drawing I didn't use Prismacolor pencils much at all and that was just uh, me experimenting. I wanted to check out what the drawing would look like if I just just used the Copic markers and I think it gave a really nice smooth effect and it gave the effects that I wanted with this character and the, the mask. Um, I think if I added extra levels of detail with uh, Prismacolor pencils it may have taken away from the effects that it's given, um, especially with the way the uh, cool greys contrast with the crimson. I really hope you like this drawing and be sure to let me know what you think in the comments below and as always if you enjoy these kind of videos then make sure you're subscribed and any likes, shares, favourites, that kind of support is hugely appreciated and it really means so much to me. If you want to contact me via Twitter, Facebook or Instagram, I have all of my links in the description box below so feel free to contact me there if you have any drawing suggestions or feedback and I'll be sure to get back to you. 
and once again thank you so much for the support on this channel it means so much to me and uh, thanks for watching this video and I'll see you all soon Thank you.